Here's the real reality. Danny's calling out side by side block. I'm what just... are you? So I'm gonna grab the motor and spin it. Danny's gonna stick his fingers in places they shouldn't be, and Phil's gonna video the whole thing. <laughs> Decapitating your fingers. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? I'm almost afraid to stick this in there. That's what. Okay, so well, realistically, here's what's going on. We are, uh, we have a boroscope, right? Is that what's mm -hmm. called? You need to get those walls. Can you see, can you? I can't. No way you, to angle it, huh? No. What if you come up some, can you see the walls? That's the threads right here. Oh, you know, we probably need to bring, maybe bring the piston down. Oh. How do we turn the? Hit the starter. Hit it! I'm kidding. All right, right now. All right, so here's what's going on. We are back on this car. This is, I don't know, video two, three, probably three. And what we're going to do is, well, ask, let's ask the man who knows. We're going to put a razor motor in there. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Why would I want to downgrade? I know, I knew it was coming. Why do you want to go from three cylinders to two? We had a Chevy Sprint, now we're going to have a Harley. Actually, that's probably an upgrade. Okay, anyway, so being realistic, what's going on, Rob? I'm playing with the magnet. Man, these guys. These guys. Yeah. We can't find good help anywhere yeah. these days. Call For it. free. You need a brain surgeon when you do brain surgery, huh? All right. Yep. So uh -huh. what's really going on is we're going to pull, well, okay, we pulled everything apart. We're going to move on. We're going to leak down test this thing, and we're going to um, stick a boroscope down the cylinders and take a look. So I think we're, we probably need to spin the motor, which we can easily do right here. So I'm gonna have Danny stick that thing back down there. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can spin the motor and see if we can get a little further, right? Well, so I'm gonna grab the motor and spin it. Danny's gonna stick his fingers in places they shouldn't be. And Phil's gonna video the whole thing. <laughs> Decapitating your fingers. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? Mm-hmm. Are we, but are we really ready? Still waiting. Oh God. When we put it in neutral? Well, that shouldn't be a home. Okay, hold on. I got it. Yeah, all I can see is just the top of the, top of the piston. Yeah. All right, and well, when it starts to come back up, just let's leak it down then. Yeah. All right, we're going to do leak down, and we're going to just make sure this engine's okay. Then it's going to be okay. Then we're going to put this thing back together. When we get gaskets. When we get parts. And gears. And it's going to be fine. Did you go dead 90? Uh, dead as I can, I guess. There's no dead as you can. There's either it's dead 90. Well, it's a little over 90. It's a little over 90, and you're pretty much at 90 over here. Mm -hmm. That cylinder is good, I guess. Better than perfect. Okay, there was a slight malfunction in the operator. We don't appear to have air coming into the cylinder, which would explain why it was better than why perfect. Why it was perfect? Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes much more sense. We are not at TDC. Yeah, so you can stop right now. We gotta get this thing at TDC. Okay, so we're trying this again. We're at 90, are we at 90? And we're about 85. So currently it looks like it's within that acceptable range. Do we hear anything coming out of the I engine? I hear anymore? something. We should hear, a little, you're gonna hear a little bit. We're losing, we're losing five pounds, so we're gonna hear something. All right, here, let me get in here and see if I can hear any, anything. I should have brought my other real quick. Man, if it's leaking anything more, yeah, it's, I mean. It's pretty slight. Yeah, that's, it's, it's right where it says optimal is, your five pound difference, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. We'll be right back. Okay, what cylinder are we in now? We're in the center one. The center one? Yeah. Okay, so what's the what's the order? Is it one, two, three, starting from the driver's side over? Did anyone know? I don't know. I thought you knew. Does Phil know? Yes. He does? But it's gonna be two or one. No, I don't know. <laughs> it don't matter. If we find one that's bad, there's a problem. If we don't, there's not. Simple as that. We're not we're not. 
I'm gonna say we're not on TDC. So we gotta go one more round. Okay, I have something. Yeah, that cylinder's not that bad. I promise you, a car wouldn't run on that cylinder. That cylinder wouldn't fire. So we're at, we're at the exhaust stroke then. We're at the top of the exhaust stroke. Okay, so I think that we are at TDC now on cylinder. What what are we saying here? Cylinder, uh, middle cylinder. I mean, I can hurt lower than the. Yeah, and it's a so it's a hair under five, but it's not ten to fifteen. Okay, we are on the final cylinder. Uh, wow, this one looks really good, huh? I hear it it's cheap, but yeah, that one looks Yeah, good. you're going to get a little bit, I mean... I mean, I think the other ones might be too, because we're on the... Start going on the downstroke on a couple yeah. of them. I, I, but still, you're close enough to this TDC. Someone correct us if we're wrong. If you're really close to TDC on the compression stroke and the valves are closed, even if this, even if that piston's slightly down, it's not going to change whether it leaks down or not. I mean, it's not going to change in in relation to it being another, I don't know, three millimeters down the cylinder. That's um, we're good. We have less than five pounds on this one, so we had I don't know I want to say five, probably then six pounds, and then on this one we have about three pounds. Or something. Yep, I'd say so, we're good. Yeah, just like I thought. This thing's going to be good. I think somebody did some research, and we need to. Drop the pan or something? Is that true? Mm -hmm. Which means pulling the motor. I don't know. I mean pulling the motor out, but it's getting, to get to that uh, screen, mm -hmm. you have to lift the motor. Yeah. That, that sounds horrible, but it is what it is. If we only have to lift it a little bit, I know where the motor mounts are. Dean and I just pulled his whole tranny out. <laughs> he blew his tranny, and then we pulled it out. He's blowing a tranny. Blew it right out. Complete blowout. Okay, so I'm not really sure how far we're going to get in this video, but here's the deal. We have uh, geniuses at work under here. Well, we can do it a lot faster. You give me a drill bit like I asked you for. Here's what's going right down. There. Right. And he's laying on his back demanding tools. That's, what, that's what's currently going on. You get this bar going across here. I would. Uh... If you want, you can come down here and do it. I, I don't mind. I'll hold the camera. <laughs> here's what's going down. We uh, did a leak down test. This motor's good. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not hurt. We did compression tests. We did leak down. It's good. It sounds good. The only noise it made is probably from these tore up gears that you can see right here. Look at them. I mean, they're trashed. Trashed. In the last video, we showed you that. Anyway, so what we're going to do is, uh, are we going to have this? So we're going to... We're, we're gonna. It goes right here, but I don't know if there's bolts way underneath. Or, I mean, pop rivets. Yeah, yeah. You stop because you put your finger in those holes, you don't feel double... So the goal is to remove this floor pan. The reason is we have to yeah, get any plastic there. out of Nothing. the motor that's in it. So we need to get to the oil pan to do that. The oil pan is on the bottom of the motor and the bottom of the motor is covered up by this stupid uh, belly pan that gets in your way that every time you change the oil and does stuff like that. See that pile of oil? So we're going to grab a drill bit because Danny can't be bothered with, you know, getting it himself. So we're going to grab that. I'm just glad I'm not doing that. So here's what I say, Danny just called side by side blog out. Called him out. That's gonna be that's gonna be in the title. It's gonna be on the thumbnail. It's gonna be on the thumbnail. Don't be This is the thumbnail right now. Danny calls side by side. I like the Danny for Danny calls side by side blog out. Calls him out. He yanked this thing off in what? Seven minutes flat. But I think they did their whole alder. They did, but, uh, you know. It must have. And. It had been something different. Right? They used the wrong drill bit. I'm not saying anything with this. This is Danny's. What? <laughs> what did Danny's do? I'm not calling anybody. I, I can't do that. Anyway. He got what that. Why did you say him? Rob and Danny are calling side by side blog <laughs> out. They yanked this thing off in minutes flat. I don't know. It probably took, what, 20 minutes? It, not even that. I mean, it. The only bad part was the, he the heads of the pop rivets spinning. 
And we're joking, of course, because look, all this is still on. So here's reality. We took a quarter of it off, not the whole thing. We're not really calling anybody out. I know they did the whole thing. It was a giant pain in the butt. I could see that. But I think this is totally worth it. What are, we, what are you going to fasten it back with? Uh, probably put some nut zerts with some um, button head screws. Yeah. That way it doesn't catch on nothing and grind off. Yeah. And and grind off on your nose. So, yeah. That's where we're at. Uh, that's the end of this video, I think. Cut. Cheese. We're sorry, another one. Stink. Bye.